Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Side effects has done it. We knew it was coming at SIGGRAPH, but they went ahead and did a sneak preview today. Uh, and I, I, I'm over the moon. <laughs> this is just getting insane. Uh, if you thought 20.5's tool set came out was game changing, uh, hold on to your butts, because this is gonna get insane. Um, the preview started off with some stuff that, honestly, I really don't care about that much, but I thought it was cool. Uh, these muscle deformers, uh, just the where they're going with these muscle deformers, the GPU based muscle deformer. Uh, I can tell you that all the all my friends who are into rigging are probably going insane. And there's even more stuff later that in the preview. I really do think uh, the time is now to start taking a look at your pipelines and seeing if Houdini is the solution to a lot of your problems. Uh, this is starting to get pretty insane uh, in terms of the features. But but what I really wanted to talk about are some of the things I'm directly involved in, such as the MPM solver tools that we just got, some of the pyro tools uh, as well. Um, but let's take a look at some of the MPM additions that we're getting. The one I'm probably the most excited for has to be the post-production. Uh, if anybody's played with MPM for five minutes knows that getting from the MPM solver and its output and getting it into actual usable mesh can be a headache at times. And I'm excited for this because we're going to be able to do RBD sims using NPM to drive them. Uh, that's just outside of this world. Uh, mind boggling for me right now. I'm just excited for that. We're getting surface tension controls. And then did you see the cookie demo? I mean, take a look at that. Uh, I just, I'm hard pressed to find a reason not to live only in Houdini now. And of course we saw the cops uh, come out in 20.5, the cops rework uh, Copernicus. And of course, they're expanding on it here in 21, and we're seeing more use for Copernicus as well. We're able to drive information uh, up at the SOPS level uh, for terrain tools, for just a whole bunch of uh, assets. But again, I'm just really, really excited, especially for the destruction side of things. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting my hands in on 21 as soon as it comes out. Uh, the only thing I regret is I'm not able to make it to SIGGRAPH to see a lot of these demos. However, I know um, some of you are, so I'm excited for you. I'll be living vicariously through you. I uh, would love to hear your experiences there at SIGGRAPH this year up in Vancouver. Um, a couple other things I do want to talk about. We're getting some overhaul of the shelf tools, it looks like. Uh, the pyro shelf tools are getting an overhaul. We're getting a lot of new assets. Uh, sounds like we're getting new erode tools for the height field as well. I think that's going to be exciting. And like I mentioned earlier, you're going to be able to drive a lot of the height field settings with cops. Um, it's something that we're going to really have to get our hands on. Uh, at this point, though, there are a few things that I wish were out in full release. Um, maybe they will be, but they just weren't in the preview. But you could see the DNA of it. For instance, um, looking at the Apex tool set, they've got a sculpting brush in there. Now we've had the ability to do certain sculpting techniques in Houdini before, often with plugins, but it, are they coming for ZBrush? Like this looks, this looks like there's something under the hood here that's being developed for sculpting. They're pushing pixels uh, with a brush. And we already know that we have attribute painting. We have brush tool sets inside of Houdini cops. Uh, we'll lead right into that as well. But I, I would not be shocked if that's to come. So uh, again, so many good things to unpack here. I am still processing this. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this, um, the machine learning tools. <laughs> There's just so much I haven't even mentioned yet. I'm sure I'll give a longer form video on this here in the future. I just really wanted to get this video out to share my excitement and kind of point you guys in that direction. Uh, I covered like half the tools, so. Anyways, I am going to get back to devving the course that I'm working on for you. That's right. There's a course that will be coming through Brian Holt Media. If you're not on the Discord yet, get on the Discord because there's going to be perks for you if you exist on Discord and within the community. Uh, you may get some free swag. You may get some free gear um, and free access to content I'm going to be releasing here in the future. Uh, but with that said, uh, I want to keep this video short. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And remember... Always be creating.